Welcome back to another installment of the Barry Wrestling All Ontario Cup Event Center, sponsored by www.countedout7.com. I'm Jay Hola, one half of the Good Friends Better Enemies podcast. This week, we're going to hear from a man who's synonymous with the Ontario scene, Rip Impact. Another man who's hoping to make a splash of his own this in this tournament is none other than Wave Maker Kyle Boom. If he can hit his signature perfect Wave European uppercut or land his deep sea driver then Kyle could easily find himself riding the wave all the way to the top of the All-Ontario Cup. The young bull, Junior Bonetto, is coming all the way from on Ottawa, Ontario, and he has a message for everyone in the All-Ontario Cup. Hello, it's me, the man that knows how to turn your frown upside down and just so happens to weigh 170 pounds. Junior Benito here to tell you that the young bull is ready for war when it comes to the All-Ontario Cup for Barry Wrestling. I don't care if it's Von Vertigo, I don't care if it's Young Miles, it could be the Notorious D.I.D., it could be the Notorious B.I.G., I do not care. What matters is that when this is all said and done, the one name that will be remembered is the Young Bull, Junior, Benito. I'll see you all there. The next two competitors don't share the same positivity as the Young Bull. Stratos is known by many to be one of the dirtiest players in all of Ontario wrestling, and he's damn proud of it. He'll be, stop at nothing to get his hand raised in victory. John Greed is big, agile, and mean. And at the end of this tournament, the man known as the boss is simply hoping to be called the best. Proudly representing Hamilton, Ontario, is a man who says he's been the heart and soul of the Ontario NDC. And of course, I'm talking about Rip Impact. So I'm here on behalf of the Count It Out podcast to share my thoughts on Barry Wrestling's All Ontario Cup. When people think about Ontario Wrestling, one of the first names that comes to mind is mine, Rip Impact. I've been traveling across Ontario, near and far, I've been traveling across Canada, the States, Mexico, all over the world for the past 18 years. I don't know who I have for the All-Ontario Cup. You know, no matter who it is, they need to bring their A-game. Because while most people have been off, I've been here at the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy, training day in and day out, staying in shape, keeping myself ring ready for whatever Barry Wrestling throws at me. Rip is ready, and I hope all of you are as well. For more information on how you can see the tournament or take part in the Barry Wrestling Indiegogo, look up Barry Wrestling on all social media platforms. And be sure to head over to www.countedout7.com to hear the latest episodes of the Good Friends Better Enemies podcast, as well as all things Counted Out with Mike and Tyler. As we sign off this week, we're leaving you with some very ominous words from a very ominous man, Corey Stone. For three years, Barry Wrestling has filled my head with promises. Promises of opportunity. Promises for the future. And promises that have not yet come to fruition. So when the prospect of a tournament showcasing the greatest wrestlers in Ontario came up, Barry Wrestling thought, we'll toss Uncle Corey in there. We'll feed him to the wolves. We'll toss him in with the sharks and see if he sinks or if he swims. But what Barry Wrestling didn't account for was that I will win this tournament. It's written in stone. And when Barry Wrestling made their gravest mistake was in announcing every single competitor because what you have done, Barry Wrestling, is you have allowed me to have eyes on each and every one of them. And at the All Ontario Cup, all eyes on me. <laughs>